the Peggy Pico Trail. Hmm, <laughs> kind of has a nice ring to it. Or for the right price, you can now put your name or business name on one of dozens of San Diego County public park trails, playgrounds, tennis courts, or even pools. Joining me with more on the new naming rights is Amy Harbert with the county's Park and Recreation Department. And welcome to Evening Edition. Thanks for having me. Now, Amy, exactly what types of things are open to these naming rights? Existing park amenities within county park facilities. So trail segments, ball fields, playgrounds, conference rooms. Why is the county doing this? Why did this uh, suddenly open up? Well, we have a new business plan that our department brought forward a few years ago, and one of the initiatives as part of that plan was to look for and seek out alternate funding sources. And this is one of them. What's the price range like, let's say, from the lowest amount that you can bid to the highest? It depends on the amenity and also the term, if it's 5, 10, 15, or 20 years. But on the low end, minimum pricing can be as low as 1,000. And then, of course, for those longer year terms and the higher valued amenities, it can go up to a couple hundred thousand. And I understand there's a time range, your $1,000, let's just say, for a piece of trail or something that you might name. Uh, what's the minimum amount of time your name would remain on that? Five year minimum term. Okay. And um, who's not eligible to participate? participate in these naming rights? We are a public agency, so we're not able to participate with any organization that has a conflict with any county mission, goal, or objective. Anything that was an illegal activity or promoted um, alcohol, tobacco, gambling, those sorts of things. And because it's a business, uh, a, a government agency, no religious uh, entities, right? And also, uh, what about political? Religious uh, messages and political messages would be excluded from participation. Okay. Now, I understand this project is, is estimated, or at least hopefully will raise about a, a, at least $1.5 million. Is that correct? That would be wonderful. Okay. <laughs> um, we're, we, it's, it's hard to estimate what uh, the scope will be. It depends on how much interest there is in participating in the program. Who um, will decide uh, how this money and where will this money be spent? Well, the Board of Supervisors made that decision when they took action, and uh, the namer will have the choice of being able to indicate that they like the funds to go to a specific park account, or it could go to a larger account um, that would be for a larger improvement project within the region. But all of the revenue from the program will go to those one-time project-related improvements. So it doesn't go into the city's general fund? No, this will stay with the County of San Diego. Okay, and, and used specifically to go back into the park and recs. I guess that's what I'm trying to, it, will it go to anything else? It will support county parks and recreation. Okay, now I understand there were a few people or maybe some rumbling against this plan. Have you heard any of that? And, and what would that be about? Well, some people do have a philosophical opinion um, on naming rights. They you know, may agree with it or not. When we did our more than 45 community outreach meetings throughout the region over the course of a few months, by and large, the members of the community were supportive of this idea. Uh, when, when can you do this if you want to sign up for this? And uh, is there a waiting list? <laughs> We're working on finalizing the details of the program implementation. It's going to be ready to go and available this spring. And we are receiving inquiries of people who are interested. We've started an interest list, and as soon as things are um, ready to be unveiled, we're going to contact those individuals and let them know we're ready. Okay, Amy Harbert with the County Park and Recreation Department. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.